Hi guys, Nikki from Innocent Teddies here. So I had quite an unusual request recently for some custom bouquet flowers for a wedding. So I thought it'd be a really good chance to do a YouTube video and show you guys how it went. So the request was for a meadow themed sustainable wedding. So I've never actually heard of one of these myself. So it was really cool to one, just learn new things as it always is, but to be asked to provide something for someone's special day. Like I said, the criteria was uh, meadow themed, small bouquet for the top table at a wedding. So to give some context, I made these flowers for my mum uh, a few months back just as uh, like a little surprise, pick me up. And obviously just cause I'm such a great daughter. Um, it was my first time actually ever making crochet flowers. I haven't done that before. If most of you follow my Instagram, go follow my Instagram. Um, I usually just make amigurami teddies. So it's a lot different to what I normally use um, and make. Yeah, so I made these for my mum. Moving on a few months uh, down the line, someone uh, reached out having seen these flowers and actually requested it for um, a wedding bouquet. I was like initially really, really nervous. Uh, it, it's obviously a really big ask because weddings are so, such in, important days to people. And like, it's their special day. Like you wanna, you, you need to make a, a big effort for this, isn't it? So it was also really last minute. Um, I got asked at the beginning of July to make these flowers for the end of July and I was going on holiday in between. So it was pretty short deadline. Um, and also, like I said, it's not my normal make, so I'm not overly confident with them. I would definitely say I'm a lot more confident with them now, for sure. And I probably actually wouldn't hesitate if I was to get another request for flowers. And it was meadow themed, so I wanted it to be a bit different to the one I made for my mum. I wanted it to be more colourful. Uh, I had a look at loads of inspiration on Google, basically just spent hours Googling like meadows, like looking at the poppies, the types of um, flowers, types of colours. And I also looked at um, wedding bouquets that were uh, meadow themed, or again, to get the inspiration. The flower wise, I made a poppy, made it a bit too big. And I feel like if I was to do it again, I would try and make them a bit smaller, especially for bouquets. And I only ended up making one of those because like I said, it just took a, it was just a bit too big. I was still really pleased with it. I still think it looks very much like a poppy. And I was really pleased with all the detail on the inside with the uh, black and the green. I made roses, I made tulips, daisies. I really like the daisies. I did carnations. Again, these, I really like how these turned out as well. They're, they're just like the roses, they're really realistic. Um, and I love the little detail of the stems and the um, little plop, plop, plop them. You know, the little green bit at the bottom. Anyway, and then last but not least, obviously like forget me nots, the little blue ones. This was especially nice, just added that little pop of colour, different sizes and things like that. So I had quite a range of different uh, flowers. Initially, like I said, I'd done the roses and I'd done these bright coloured carnations and I had them in and I think maybe because I didn't have enough flowers together and it just, it looked a bit sparse, I didn't actually initially like the poppy and the bright coloured carnations. So I initially scrapped them and I didn't want to use them. And I was just gonna keep it um, like my mum's bouquet of similar colours um, that looked quite aesthetic. So I carried on making um, pinks, blues, purples. And once the bouquet started to come together, uh, from the advice of my mother, I'm gonna give her the credit to be fair. She said, no, I really think you should keep them in. You should really keep the pop of color. It's meadow themed, blah, blah, blah. So I added them back in and they actually turned out really nice. And I, I really liked that it, it just, it brought it all together. It gave it the pop of color. It gave it the meadow theme from the poppies and it, it just tied it all really, really well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the materials I use, uh, where I found them and uh, where, where you guys can get them and also the patterns I used. I am going to try and do some of my own tutorials because I did freehand some of the um, flowers. If you're interested in seeing some flower tutorials, uh, leave a comment in what, which ones you would like to see and I'll try and get those done. So materials I use, I spent a lot of time in Hobbycraft. I used their wire so for the stems of the flower I just use a really thin wire and um, they've got quite a few different lengths but I use the longest one and this was just to give me um, extra extra length to like 
mess about with or cut down and um i use a lot of dk yarn and luckily i just had this uh already lying around in my big old yarn stash so i couldn't really specifically tell you what um brand it is because i take all of my uh, labels off and i make them into yarn cakes so i can't be too specific with the type of yarn i use it was just i know it was dk yarn and then i also used um cellophane and ribbons to finish the bouquet off once i had my bouquet and i was happy with it with the meadow themed i got this really lovely uh just cellophane with little polka dots on just to give it a little bit of dimension and i um just basically wrapped them up i put a bit on the bottom tied all of the um, stems together with with some wool just to keep them compact i then wrapped the stems in um, padding again just to stop any um, accidents happening they they can be quite sharp so i just wrapped those up and then i use a cellophane around the whole bouquet and it just finished it off really nicely and it looked really nice and professional um then had a nice little white ribbon just to give it that uh, wedding finish and it just made the bouquet really come together and it kept it all together moving on to how long the project actually took me so i've got a breakdown in front of me of the days what i did on each day and then overall how long it took so day one consisted of starting four tulips uh, i made the poppy two roses and three daisies so day one i spent four hours on the project Day two is to do uh, two carnations, two daisies, two rosebuds, uh, finished off the tulips, uh, three forget-me-nots, and then one big rose. Day three, I added the wire stems. Day three was when I removed the poppy and the uh, colourful carnations and I wanted to go more basic. Day four, made more daisies, more forget-me-nots. And then day five was five hours, so that was my longest day on day five finishing off the stems, um, glue gunning, um, finishing off everything, putting the bouquet together, adding the um, poppy and the, can the colourful carnations back in, wrapping and finishing off with the ribbon. So overall bringing the total to 18 hours of work. So it was five days, which wasn't too bad, but I obviously had absolutely no life um, those evenings of that week. <laughs> it was a big project, but again, it was really, really worth it. I was so pleased with the end result. And I would definitely jump at the chance to do it again. Like I say, if you guys want some tutorials, please feel free to comment. Or if you want to see um, any other different types of crochet vlogs, just let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.